Hello, I've been thinking for a long time to start a YouTube video series. So here is my first attempt. So, so episode one will be about introduction to 3D printing. This is what I am interested in and I want to give everyone a overview of what 3D printing is and basically a general, a simple course on 3D printing on based on the things that I've learned in school about 3D printing. So this is it. So to, to start it off, the, I want to tell you about the definition of 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing. Basically, it is the process of joining materials to make objects from 3D models, data, usually a layer by layer process as opposed to traditional subtractive methods. So 3D printing is actually a term that's more commonly used now as compared to additive manufacturing. People are more likely to be searching Google with the term 3D printing than additive manufacturing. So I, I think it has sort of become a standard to describe additive manufacturing. So this is, will be the term that I'll be using. In 3D printing, traditionally, it's used for making prototypes and physical models as part of the product development cycle. So companies will make models of objects, usually in plastic, could be in metal, ceramic, or also composites. But now these days, we see 3D printing getting interest for getting interest from many other industries due to its unique capabilities of producing objects with complex geometries that are difficult to manufacture by conventional means. So this is what 3D printing is used for currently. So there are also industry and industrial applications for 3D printing, such as in the medical implants, such as like hip implants, bone implants, jaw implants or in aerospace components to substitute parts that don't really bear any load or in automobile components such as a heat exchanger or also in military components such as ballistic warheads. So next there are different ways of classifi classifying 3D printing methods. One, one way is by classifying them by their process methods, such as whether do they use a binding jetting method, do they use a powder bed fusion method, and so on. But however, to keep it simple, I think the classification by input material is a very good choice. So it classifies 3D printing methods based on whether the input material is solid, liquid, or powder. I think this is, this is an easier method to classify 3D printing technologies. So then, what are the benefits of 3D printing? Basically, I list four important points that I think it's important. Firstly, it, 3D printing reduces the product development time as designers gets to irritate, uh, gets to iterate their designs more quickly as they get to 3D print their ideas within their workspace. Next, 3D printing is also good at creating one-off items at a reduced cost. So you can create something unique, something that's one of a kind, easily with 3D printing. Next, 3D printing has also the ability to create complex geometry that is not possible previously, or at least Previously, you, you would have to spend a lot of money to create that specific geometry. Lastly, I think the benefits of 3D printing is that it allows manufacturing to be done by the people, by designers, and thus this 3D printing spawns a new revolution called the maker revolution, as people can now manufacturing, manufacture whatever they want. Lastly, so what exactly is changing on 3D printing that is getting all the hype that's currently and all the research that is currently focusing on 3D printing? Basically, in the past, 3D printing, also known as rapid prototyping, 
focus prim primarily on creating prototypes or tools rapidly. However, now these days, we are seeing that 3D the development of 3D printing is aimed to create objects that are more superior than conventional methods that were not possible previously. So this is exactly why people are currently looking at the 3D printing. So with this, I'll move on to the summary. So to, to summarize, I think the first episode, what I just wanted to do is to introduce 3D printing. As such, I state, stated the definition of additive manufacturing according, accordingly to the ASTM standard. Then I talked briefly about the uses of 3D printing and industrial applications related to it. Then I, I mentioned of how to classify 3D printing methods based on the material input. Next, I talked slightly about the benefits of 3D printing and what it can bring. Lastly, I talked about what is changing in 3D printing, why is it getting on the hype now, what, what are people looking at 3D printing currently. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully within the next week I can produce a second video. Thank you. So I, I want to talk mainly at the reference. So mainly whatever I'm showing you is what I've learned in my undergrad course and also from a book called The Wallace Report 2014. And I also took a picture of the rip rep from Wikipedia and as I put it onto the front page. So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks.